assuming it's recording. Hopefully this one works. All right, so on Friday, we were able to do the square and the spheres, correct? So what you're going to need to do is we're going to go ahead and start with the torus, which is the donut shape. I'm going to start with a 2H pencil. So we're going to decide our light source. So maybe we're going to have our light source up here in the corner. And then you'll need your ruler. And if you don't have a ruler, there's some up here in the container. So to find our cast shadow, we're going to line up the outside of our shape with our little light source vanishing point up there. And then I'll probably have it come out about right here. And that's going to be my cast shadow. And then I'll probably even have a little spot in here to show that donut shape on the inside. So we'll make it a cast shadow. Since we missed a lot of class, we'll probably only be able to get a couple of these. So we'll finish this up tomorrow. All right, so since the light source is here, we're going to be shading around the edge. And then as it gets up to the edge here, it's going to be darker around that little um, oval in the center. And then as it comes up here, it's going to get lighter because the light's reflecting on it. And then on the inside here, there's no light because it's sliced. So we'll shade those in dark. So that way it looks like some value. And then I'm shading with the contour of the shape so that way it still has that rounded shape that we want. Nate, did you get your drawing kit yet? What number are you? Number five. Lightest is your 4H. It goes 4H, 2H, HB, 2B, 4B, and 6B. If you look on your packet with all your pencils in it, I got them labeled in order from dark to lightest. So 
I'm just continuing around and I am going from dark to light on all those areas and I'm keeping that light source consistent. So since these slices are facing away from the light source, they're going to be dark. And then this back area of the torus is going to be dark because it is facing away. And then I'm just switching back and forth between my dark and light pencils so that way I can get that light area without making it too dark. And then use your blending tool to blend that out. So it's the same way we did the top shapes. And what do you do if your blending tool gets dirty? Clean it off on a piece of paper, yes. So just take your paper and clean it off. That keeps your paper from looking smudgy where you're trying to shade. Because you want to blend the graphite that's already on your paper out. You don't want to add more graphite from your blending tool. cast shadow. I'm going to go with my dark shade and just shade those in. And I'm leaving a little spot where my shadow and my shape connect lighter just so that way we have an implied line because you'll have, usually you'll have a reflection there anyways from the table and the light source. It's just where, that way you can see the difference between what's the shadow and what is the shape itself and just remember to go in that circular motion since it is a circular shape and then use your tool to smooth out those lines Are you able to pull those videos up on the Chromebook? Okay. Just follow along with the demo. And then pause it when you get to a section that you need a little bit more time. And then take that paper home and catch up to us because you're going to be a little bit behind. You can take your drawing kit home if you need to. Just make sure you bring it back tomorrow. Huh? I said I won't to do that. Got one at home? Okay. Did I give you some extra drawing paper to put in your portfolio? Were you here when I did that? that you follow a vanishing point. Right, how many of you guys are still working on the donut?
Yes. What if the box is moved? Whenever I go to the menu, what if it doesn't I know some of you are still working on your Taurus, but we're going to move on. So it's the same thing with the cylinder. You can decide your vanishing point, and I'm just going to use the same little star I used for my Taurus. I'm going to decide that my shadow is going to go this way. Since my lights here, actually, I did it the wrong way. Did it like my light was behind me? So, light's going to go there. So, then my shadow's going to go this way. I can even make it run off like that. So then the back part of this is going to be dark and then it's just going to get lighter as it comes around the shape. So remember, it's always darker where it's facing away from the light. And we're pretending our vanishing point is our light source. And then the slices are going to be dark underneath and get lighter as they come to the edge. The reason they're darker underneath is because they're underneath that top piece so it's casting a shadow in between. top's not going to be too awfully dark because it's got a light source. shadow. I'll leave just a little line to make it lighter to be able to differentiate between the shadow and the shape and then we're just going to shade that out with one of our darkest pencils. So that'll be the darkest part of your shape. from about five minutes until we clean up. Try to get your torus and your cylinder finished. And then tomorrow we'll do the cone and the pyramid. Any questions? <laughs>